Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm working, <coughs> I'm working as hard as I can. You have to be more reasonable. have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. Your debt's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. How's that debt looking now? A little patience is all I require. <laughs> Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? Be reasonable! <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Hi, Dutch. Good morning, Arthur. Yes. Hello, brother. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Good morning. 